How important is a locking differential when going off-road? I'm gonna answer that question right now on the Fast Lane Truck. This, of course, for all you guys familiar with TFL, is stage three of Goldmine Hill. And that is a 2014 Ford Raptor with a locking rear differential. And to see how important that locking rear differential is, I'm gonna do two runs up stage three. One without locking it, and of course, one with locking it. This Raptor, of course, comes equipped with four-wheel drive, but unless you have two locking diffs, one in the back and one in the front, you effectively have two-wheel drive, one in the front and one in the back, because you need to go around a corner without crabbing. Now, there is an interesting feature on the front set of wheels of the Raptor. It's called a torsion differential. And to explain that, I have my lovely model, Andre Smirnov. Who are you calling a model? Hey! Well, actually, I have a model of a torsion differential here, which is 3D printed, but basically it's a mechanical device that allows differential action when you need it. But when there's too much spin, it actually can lock both wheels together. Hey, Andre, how much did you pay for this model? $100 and about two hours of my time. You know, that's about uh, $99 too much because this doesn't explain much to me. But the good news is, because we're going up third stage of Goldmine Hill, there's a big indent. Yep. So one of the wheels is going to be in the air anyway. So we're effectively going to have only one wheel drive in the front, even okay. with the torsion diff. For the sake of this real world test, I'm gonna put it in four low, not four high. And that's because I wanna take momentum out of the equation. I really wanna see if going up that hill, the rear locking diff helps and not the truck's momentum as it tries to crest the top. Of course, the tricky part here is not to hit the two trees, the one on the left or the one on the right. Um, and every time I've ever taken the Raptor up stage three, I have inevitably slid down into the hole where Andre's standing with one of the cameras. So I'm gonna try to avoid either of those outcomes. Here we go. Put the mirrors in. Once again, no one there. And now the wheel goes in. And now the raptor crawls up. <laughs> well, so much for that experiment. It went up without ever locking the rear differential. Andre, we've proved absolutely nothing. What do we do? You know, those tires are just too good, I think. I think we need a tougher hill, maybe a ledge. You want to go to that really, like, steep ledge? Yes. I think this is going to get high centered on it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Sometimes what really matters is where the tire meets the pavement, or in this case, the dirt. And these are almost brand new BFG KO2s, and they've got a lot of bite and a lot of grip. And I suspect that was one of the reasons why this truck didn't struggle. Also, we didn't air down because for the sake of this experiment, we didn't think it was necessary. You know, Andre, I think I'm gonna call this lobotomy ledge, because you'd be crazy to try to go up it. I mean, look at those sharp rocks. <sighs> we're gonna high center and we're potentially gonna, we're gonna do some damage. Blah, blah, blah. Well, how should we do this? All right, you blah, blah, blah me. Let's give it a try. I feel like this is gonna get very expensive, potentially. But let's give it a try. Here we go. I'm just going to take it nice and easy and let the momentum not be a factor. Andre, that physically hurt. I mean, I felt the pain as the bottom of the truck was, first of all, your spoont! My little uh, trailer hitch cover came off, and uh, yeah, it, it hit pretty hard. Well, dude, you hit, I think, the tail, like the hitch, yeah. you hit the center sidestep, yeah. and you hit the front chin. Yeah. So here's actually a good design. Um, as you can tell, the trailer hitch hit 
on the way back down and luckily these hooks protected the little plugs for the trailer connections so that's a smart design to put that next to that hook because this would have torn right off of the truck if this didn't hit first i think all right looks like uh, we got away with it the biggest damage was just bending the side step bracket but uh, it looks like everything underneath that's important the transfer case the fuel tank the drive shafts even the exhaust didn't get damaged blah 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 roman we need to show the difference let's climb some hills <laughs> all right how about this andre i granted i'm a little concerned about the truck yes. how about we go up this hill it's pretty steep pretty steep and see how high we get with the rear diff not locked and of course then lock it and see if we can get higher attempt number three to show you what a locking differential can do off-road this time we're just going to go up this very steep hill and see how far I get before I start losing traction and then I will lock the rear diff and do it again. Here we go, I'm going up the hill. I think I'm going to hit the tree before I lose traction. Yep. There we go. I'm stuck, Andre. Okay, got it. You want to mark it with that uh, expensive? Torsen. Yeah, with the yeah. expensive differential. I got your torsen right here. All right, mark it. All right, now to engage the locking rear diff on the Raptor. Oh, hold on a second. Oh. All I do is pull out the little knob, and the rear diff is locked. Rear diff is locked, Andre. Here we go. Let's see if I can get higher. I'm going to take the exact same path at about the exact same speed. I got like eight feet before I hit my truck. Well, the truck is struggling more. Both rear wheels are trying to get traction, but no luck. There you go. We proved exactly nothing. You know, I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna try the Nathan method. We'll give it a little bit of a little bit of uh, a little juice. A little bit of juice. Hey, here we go. Watch I'll catch out. you when you come down. You catch me. Yeah. This time, a little bit of Nathan power. And I'm gonna hit the pine tree. There we go. Top, top. Woo! Got to the top. <laughs> I can be in a rocket ship. <laughs> I've been you're such taking, a steep. You're taking off. Yes, let me go back. All right. You know, the scary part is it's not that easy to show how steep this is on video, but it's super no, but steep. I couldn't barely walk up it. Yeah, I know. My torsion differential got dusty. <laughs> what have we proved, Andre? I think we've proved that the Nathan method always wins. <laughs> always wins. If you're not afraid to break stuff, the Nathan method will always get you where you want to go. It may not get you back, but it'll get you where you're going. Well, you got some momentum and you jumped over that road. I, I couldn't believe how steep that was. And by the way, guys, please, if you like this video, subscribe so that Andre could buy more another, differentials. Yeah, another expensive, but completely incomprehensible differential <laughs> that maybe demonstrates the way a locking rear diff works. As always, this is Roman and Andre saying thanks for watching and check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and windy real world reviews. This is real world as it gets, dude.